I am back today with one of my favorite high value and budget upper assemblies, and this is the 16 inch M lock version from PSA. Now, I say the 16 inch M lock version, but there are a lot of different models from Palmetto State Armory. What makes this upper or upper very similar to this from PSA unique is the fact that it's made out of good quality materials, a good fit and finish, insane reliability. And the price is incredibly low for what you get. I have a long history with PSA, purchasing their products for years, and then now working with them on new reviews of new products that they just released to the market. A while back, I did a very insane torture test of a Palmetto State Armory rifle, which we'll talk a little bit more about in a second, that really just solidified the quality, durability, and reliability of PSA products in my mind after doing those tests. If you want more information about any of this after the video, check Check out that campsite page. My campsite page is an aggregate site in the description below of all the information you'll need. I just upgraded to the premium version so when you go over there you'll be able to see that first link and it'll direct you to where you can find some of the best info. Now after you've taken a look at some of those options on PSA you may wonder which one is right for you. Well, a lot of them I've isolated and funneled down to 16 inch upper assemblies and that's what I'm going to be discussing today. The 16 inch upper assemblies are the shortest that you can get without worrying about the NFA or becoming an AR pistol. Now, a lot of times you can get 14 and a half inch barrels with a pinned and welded break that makes the overall length 16 inches, but we're not gonna be discussing those today because you pay more of a premium for those upper assemblies. What we are discussing is one of the absolute best uppers you can get for right at about $250 without the BCG and charging handle or about $330 complete with BCG CG and charging handle, both with free shipping options. Then you can combine that with a PSA lower assembly, and you've got one of the best ARs you can possibly get for sub $500. Now, you'll have to ship the lower to your FFL and the upper assembly directly to your house. And again, you can either select it with or without the BCG, depending if you already have maybe a precision build and you want to swap that BCG and charging handle over, or you've got an extra one. Uh, either way is kind of up to you on how you want to slice and dice up your car to save yourself some money. The other cool thing about PSA is they're always doing daily deals. And if you want more information on those, again, you can check the campsite page or you can follow me on my 704 Tactical Instagram, which will be linked in the description below, or my Patreon. Those guys are seeing daily deals all the time, so you won't want to miss those opportunities. Now, a lot of the PSA upper assemblies are coming with nitrided 4150 chromoly vanadium barrels, and that is what we are looking at here on this particular upper. And what made me want to do this video is I saw those deals again pop up on PSA's website with this rail system and a slightly different rail system, which we did the torture test on. Mainly the differences between the two were the profile and the monolithic pick rail at the top of this one, and that's more of a preference between what you want to go with. Speaking to PSA's M-Lock system, I've never had anything fail on me. Everything is locked up solid on the M-Lock, so no issues with any of the rail systems. All of their QD slots work out great with no issues whatsoever, and the rail lockup is solid. Going back to that torture test, what really proved that out in my mind was we dropped the rifle from a 40-foot shooting tower. We ran it over with the truck. We drug it behind the truck. We shot it with a 12-gauge shotgun. We slammed it against the ground, and nothing walked loose. Nothing fell off. It was an impressive display of PSA's quality and reliability. Fast forward about a year, I did a second torture test on it for a deal they were having, and it went through about the same torture test where we shot it again with a 12-gauge shotgun, and it still worked out great. 
Then after that, we did some optics testing here recently for a torture test for some YouTube shorts, and it then was hit three more times with a 12-gauge shotgun. Now, not this particular rifle, but the torture test rifle that's still on the channel, and I plan on doing an update video on that build again, but if you're looking for quality, that is just a testament to quality and reliability. PSA upper assemblies run steel case, wolf, Tala, just fine. I always recommend the steel case wolf though. And this particular upper assembly that, again, you can gather more information on the campsite page is just kind of my favorite because of that monolithic pick rail stretching all the way through the top, the M-lock slots on the sides, and the overall just builds quality and ergonomics of this setup. Now, again, if you're interested in Finishing it out, you can always check out PSA's lower assemblies. They've got a ton of different variations, including their base models, models with enhanced polished triggers, extended trigger guards, MOE furniture in a wide variety of colors, and the new SOT mod setup. Now, PSA, a lot of guys will talk about um, maybe that their customer service isn't great, and I feel like that's because they've um, maybe had a ton of wait times in the early days of PSA. Since then, PSA has really sped up their customer service. They've really improved their customer service, and in my opinion, they're one of the best customer service uh, setups out there. I've just talked to some guys recently who had one issue with a dagger extraction. Instead of like fumbling with parts, I think they sent them a completely new dagger slide. So it's nice to hear that, you know, occasionally something will happen, but PSA stands behind their products. And I've always had really good luck, especially with their AR-15 lineup. That's what makes this and very similar uppers to this on PSA's website, some of the best you can possibly get on a budget, especially sub $350. And again, check out out all that information and campsite page in the description below and don't forget to follow me on those other platforms if you want to be notified about those daily deals thanks for watching have a good one